In southern Utah, Zion National Park Rangers say it was a record breaking summer season with an average of more than, get this, half a million visitors every month from May to August. But they say the recent jump in stats might not be what it seems. ABC 4's Katie Corrales explains. Rangers at Zion National Park say 2019 has been an unprecedented year for trail closures and crowding, but the apparent rise in visitors may be due to more accurate counting. Staff say in January they started using a new multiplier to better estimate the number of people in each car. But with roughly 4 million visitors each year, employees say they're still concerned with those who are not following leave no trace practices. We're seeing micro trash, we're seeing graffiti, we're seeing um, rock sacking. Um, and, and human waste in certain areas. In July, Zion officials told ABC4 News they responded to several reports of visitors harassing and touching wildlife. Hold up your thumb, and if the animal is small enough to hide behind your thumb, then you're probably a good distance away. With a 66% increase in visitation in the last eight years, workers say they're seeing a dramatic rise in the strain on popular hikes such as the Narrows and Angels Landing. So they've started to send hikers up in staggered groups on popular holidays. You know, this wouldn't prevent me from coming to Zion, that's for sure. You know, it's such a beautiful park. Zion's official nonprofit partner, the Zion Forever Project, says it's also working to develop a new trail network on the park's east side to ease pressure on the main canyon. We're looking at during the first phase to build 11.29 miles of new trail. Uh, that'll be a phased approach over several years. Jones says a new visitor center is also set to break ground late next year. Reporting in Zion National Park, Katie Corrales, ABC4 News.